And to make things even worse, at the top of the tree, there's another browser doing its best to cut even the parents down to size. Cute they may look, but ever since the ancestors of this one were introduced to New Zealand, they've been slowly but surely chewing their way through the best of New Zealand's forests. Possums are marsupials, and they were brought to Mozart from Australia as the basis for a thriving fur industry. Now, if you're asking how such a cuddly marsupial could destroy the ancient forests of Moa's Ark, well, that's exactly what the scientists had to find out. Now, the first thing I found out is that possums are better climbers than botanists. When eventually I got to the top, I also discovered that possums know a lot about the local plants. The only thing up here in the treetops today with me are the cicadas. The possums are all asleep because they're nocturnal. But as soon as night comes, they'll be out taking their pick from this great gourmet banquet of vegetarian dishes. And the first thing they'll home in, because, you know, just like us human beings, they're always going to have the largest helping, the thing they like most, mistletoe. But I'm afraid that's off. You see, they've eaten it all up already. So the next thing on their menu, the five finger. And then they came to the main course. And what a main course! The Northern Rata, one of the largest trees in the forest and with one of the hardest woods. Now, who would have ever thought that little possums could really damage and kill giants like that? But the scientists had to sit up here and watch it as one Rata after another was browsed until killed off. And then, of course, the possums had to eat their way down through the menu. After this, the gourmet menu didn't look quite so gourmet. In fact, the possums were down to survival rations, plants that they'd have turned their noses up in the past. But you know, when you get hungry, it's surprising you don't eat anything. With reports coming in from all around that there were now more possums in New Zealand than there are sheep, the scientists really began to worry. I mean, where would this insatiable appetite of the possums for the vegetation of New Zealand come to an end? Answers just had to be found before it was too late. So the whole armory of modern ecological research was aimed at the problem. A radio transmitter is fitted to a baby possum before it is returned to its tranquilised mum on the edge of the bush. Off they go, baby and walk mum, sending back vital information to map their rate of spread across the countryside. And the message was not good. The possums are coming. No part of the country is safe. I've come to the last frontier of New Zealand, the very plough of Moa's Ark, and the last part of the mainland to feel the bite of the possum teeth. And I haven't come here to look at the blue, blue Pacific, wonderful as it is, but at this rather strange red soil and the plants which grow thereon. Now, the special rock is called serpentine. It's bung full of all sorts of minerals in very high concentration, including things like manganese, which most plants and animals don't really like. And as it weathers, it turns into this rather strange, deep red soil. And there on some of the nodules, you can see the metals actually glinting on the surface. Now, that makes problems for all the local plants. Look here, Manuka. Now, I've seen that growing all over New Zealand, but here's a real scruffy little thing. It really can't get going. There's other plants around here that are found nowhere else in the world. Safe at the moment on their cliffs, these specialised plants can cope with a lot of things, but not with teeth. And the possum army isn't very far away. Yes, all the treasures of Moa's Ark could be destroyed. And those treasures include not just the forest, but also the farmland. So whether you like it or not, on Moa's Ark, there's only one good possum, and that's a dead one. 